Good morning everyone. I am your science teacher. Today I will be teaching you chapter number 18, a busy month. As you all know from a word busy month that busy means we are always doing something and it's a month we are talking about which is starting of the month that is we start our course in April where the sun is very bright and shiny and the heat is almost there in the air. So it's a very sunny morning we are talking about and we'll catch in this chapter about different types of birds life and to know them we will study their nest and we will also study in this chapter that different types of their beaks and claws which helps them to live their lives. Let's move on and remember what are the points we will go through in this chapter. Most birds make nest in the beginning of the summer season. They make nest of trees between stones behind shells or leaves. Nest are made of grass, twigs, roots, wool, hair, leaves and even cobwebs. Birds have many enemies like human beings and animals who steal their eggs. Birds feed are according to their needs that is webbed feet to live in water, crooked feet to hold the tree branches etc. Birds beaks depend on the food they eat. Animals and human beings have teeth depending on their food requirements. So we'll study about these things in the chapter. Now let's just begin. These are the common words which are shown in front of you and you will know about these birds in this slide. Now see you have seen sparrow, you have seen sunbird and even you have seen Indian robin. But burbits are usually not seen because they always migrate from one place to another. Now let's just know where these birds make nest. First let's just move and know them. Let's just start. Dove. Dove make their nest in old buildings. Indian robin make nest in space between stones. And crow make the nest in high up on the tree. Coppersmith make nest in hole in a tree trunk. Like our bird uh, woodpecker. Next is pigeon. Pigeon make nest in house. Sunbird. Sunbird hangs from branches of a tree. They make their nest in the branches of the tree which is hanging. And let's just move on. Nest of the birds. We will study how some birds make their nest and they are very special. These are Taylor bird first. You should know that Taylor bird through her name we can know that Taylor bird is basically makes the nest, stitch the two leaves on the bushes with a sharp beak and make the nest and lay their eggs on it. Let's come to another bird that is weaver bird. Weaver bird is like this as you can see on the PPT. The birds build their nest towards for together for protection, often several to a branch. The nests are woven with strong strips of padded leaves, rough grasses and strong strips torn from palm fronds. Usually the male birds basically make these nests to attract the female birds so that they can come and live in this nest. And the weaver bird colonies may be found close to the water bodies, near to the seas, where you can see these types of birds. Indian robin. Indian robin basically nests are built during rocks, in holes, in walls or in the tree holes, hollow. Chicks have black 
drown means their chicks are basically black in color they just look black and these birds basically make the nest in between the rocks in the holes of the tree so that they can survive next extinct bird what do you mean by extinct bird extinct bird means they are no longer on earth because of inhuman behavior of the people because some people hunt them some people make uh, use of them and they are no more in the planet earth like you can see great oak dodo passenger pigeon passenger pigeon jan moa these are the birds which are basically got extincted from the planet earth and they are no more found next is migrating birds what do you mean by migrating birds migrating birds means the birds is migrating bird is the regular seasonal genre done by the many types of birds means migrating means a simple word that means that a bird uh, move from one place to another that's why they are called migrating birds and they basically move from one place to another because they this, this depends upon different reason like food habitats or even on the climatic condition of that particular place and even because of the seasonal journey they live in particular season in somewhere and then they shift for the another uh, place in another season so these are called migrating birds now every bird is unique and they are different from each other so these birds you can see in the picture have different beaks and these beaks are basically important for them for different purposes like some birds have beaks which are basically used to tear and eat meat that for example eagle let's move to make holes in the wooden tree trunk for example woodpecker and hops to suck nectar basically these birds are hummingbirds and sunbird to find insects and worm from mud and shallow water these birds are kingfisher and even kiwi uh, to break crush seeds that is parrot and hornbill to cut and eat many kinds of food these birds are night hawk so these are the different birds which use their different different beaks to do these things for their survival now if you can see the birds beaks are important as well as their feet are important some birds have feet to swim in the water that is ducks and swan some birds have to hold the tree trunk from their feet that is parrot and crow some birds have to catch their prey and find their food that is vulture and eagle then some birds are basically are there to climb the trees that is woodcutter woodpecker i'm sorry then there are some birds which are use which are use their feet to walk on the land that is crane and ostrich so you have learned today the different birds have different beaks and feet now now let us know about the teeth of the different uh, animals now if you can see in the ppt there are different animals shown and everyone has the unique feature of their teeth like humans humans teeth are basically div div divided into inferiors canines and premolar so they used to some teeth are used to cut the food some is used to crush the food and some is used to bite the food they do the different kinds of work now as you know cow cow has front teeth short because they snip the grass so that they can uh, bite the grass easily and chew it later through their later teeth cat cat has sharp teeth to tear and cut the meat squirrel squirrel has very uh, unique quality that it has front teeth are very long and it grows throughout the life because they have this unique quality and these th these teeth are used to 
cut the things and these teeth become their power and these grow throughout their life so they always try to groaning the teeth that is they always try to rub their teeth with the other things and then it's snake snake's teeth are very sharp and curved and they use they don't uh, bite anyone they basically uh, they basically swallow their food and don't eat them they only swallow the food so after this chapter we know that birds make all our world beautiful they teach us us to be delighted in spite of their limitation they do the impossible task so we should be inspired from them thank you everyone i hope this is clear to you thank you